Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about how to swap the PCB board to rescue a Hitachi hard drive. This is a Hitachi 3.5 inch hard drive and its PCB board. Before swapping the PCB board, we have to know the Hitachi hard drive PCB board compatibility. In another words, what kind of information should we look for to find a compatible donor PCB board for the hard drive? We use this PCB board picture as a reference to explain the Hitachi hard drive PCB board compatibility criteria. The Hitachi SATA desktop hard drive PCB board compatibility criteria is 1. Same sticker number 2. Same PCB board number 3. Same CPU IC number 4. Same controller board firmware and also called controller board BIOS. The PCB board number is very tiny and hard to see. It is located on the edge of the board, as the picture shows. Sometimes we need a magnifier to read it. For every different kind of hard drive PCB board, the PCB board number location is different. HDD-parts.com shows all the other hard drive PCB board information. Let's talk about more about PCB board firmware. This hard drive PCB board firmware is saved in the two memory chips. Same PCB board firmware means that the data in the two memory chips on the donor PCB board must be same as the original board. The rest of this video is going to talk about how to do it by the PCB board firmware transfer. We are continuing to talk about how to find a correct donor board and how to make an identical cloned PCB board. We use the hard drive model number, PCB board number, sticker number, and the CPU number as reference to find the correct donor board. We do PCB board firmware transfer to make an identical PCB board, which is 100% compatible with the original hard drive. This picture shows where to find the model number of the hard drive. This picture shows where to find the sticker number, main IC number, and the board number. You may go to www.hdd-parts.com in the search box input the board number and then click on go. The correct donor board is found. Step 2. Take off the bedboard. Three steps to take off the bedboard. 1. Take off the ribbon cable from its connector. 2. Unscrew all the screws. Torx 8 screwdriver is needed. It can be found in the tool section of the most hardware store. 3. Slice out the board from the hook. For the whole process, please watch the second half of this video. This picture shows the three steps to remove the PCB board from the Hitachi hard drive. Please pay attention when disconnect the ribbon cable. It is very easy to break it. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the controller board BIOS transfer? 
because for this model hard drives, one controller board includes two parts, hardware and uh, controller board BIOS. The controller board BIOS includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. This picture illustrated how the controller board BIOS transfer works. On the left hand side is the original bad board. On the right hand side is the donor good board. The controller board BIOS transfer means to transfer the controller board BIOS from the original bad board to the good donor board. Regarding the hard drive controller board BIOS transfer, we want to point out the following things. 1. We can do the controller board BIOS transfer from the physically damaged controller board like burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our controller board BIOS transfer success rate is more than 95%. 2. Controller board BIOS transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The controller board BIOS transfer is to transfer the controller board BIOS from one board to another board. So we can make two identical controller boards. Hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another controller board. We cannot make two identical controller boards by hard drive firmware upgrading. 3. We do the controller board BIOS transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. 2. We fix the PCB board. 3. We ship back the PCB board to the clients. This is how the clients ship the controller board to us to do from a transfer. 1. Print out our shipping address on the envelope. 2. Clients mailing address. 3. Print out the form and ship together with the board. 4. Customs declaration, item name, bad hard drive circuit board, item value $5. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board bias, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB boards BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB boards BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drives PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware, we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of this PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. 
as long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.